I come down from my heart in New York City to sing my song. Be a real folk singer, humdinger. I try to change the world with songs of love and hate and desperation. I can't wait to get myself known there. By myself a home and room. By myself a street to find. By myself a friend of love. And a place to sing my song. So I go down to Folk City to get a gig and he tells me to come back Monday and audition. Like everybody else. So I played the four people who were walking out the door at 9 o'clock. They were looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. I said, it's up down. I thought I'd see a million Dylans. Joni Mitchell too. Maybe even Carol King. like an old man just playing on the bench. And the out of town had seen the songs and watched the square of the dark in the park where the policeman come and he said, son, you gotta move along. But I've got no home, no way to roam. I don't even have a place to sing this song. Nothing like I thought it would be from all the, you know, I had this babysitter back in the 60s and she she had really long blonde hair. She looked like Marsha Brady and she was awesome and she listened to folk music and I, people would parades on and stuff and I thought I'm going to go there someday and meet a million of her. <laughs> there, were, there, there were no, there was none of her. Anyway, it was, it was like all the bars were closing and they were metal, Harvey metal bars with really bad Jack and Ginger. And everything was, I don't know, that's not Jack Daniels. Yeah, he's just, it's Jack Daniels. I mean, I don't think that's Jack Daniels. There's like water and Jack Bean was like, shh, fuck you. <laughs> where all the beatniks go? What the hell? Where all the beatniks go? I just spent 13 years in New York City, and then I tell you what, everybody's complaining about how it's all changing. And this used to be amazing, it was a bunch of crackheads and junkies and stuff. I'm like, yeah. Uh, you know, Newark's right over there. <laughs> you can go over there if you want. <laughs> I miss the old days, people used to punch me in the face and shit, yeah, you know, like, I don't. <laughs> I don't miss those days at all. <laughs> That's it, I quit, I'm moving on. Trailways and great kind, I'm going back to my home. Tell them how it went. I said, man, I sang for the best of them, and I change their lives again with my songs. I told them that I met Bob Dylan. Yeah, Patty Smith, we did lunch. None of that was true. But why ruin a good story with the truth? Call McDougal Go back to the blues I got the beatnik blues, the MacDougal blues. Thirty years later, I'm going back to New York Town. Give it one more go. I got a show over there across the bridge in Brooklyn. And as I was walking to my show, there was a line around the block. I said, who's playing here tonight? She said, you are. 
Seems I'm kind of famous now. <laughs> Must have bought my box set. Call me Google. The Magnet Blues. Yep, figured it out. Best way to be huge in New York. Disappear for 30 years. 